Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sorcery. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today, because uh, last episode we found the Air Serpent, and fortunately, we couldn't, uh, well, we couldn't kill her, well, I, ne I never actually, actually tried to kill her without losing all my rations, and most importantly, all the uh, water damageable items in my backpack. And she's over there, she's right there, uh, and... Uh, what I decided to do is I believe we're gonna find her later. I checked online um, to see what, how exactly to find her because I couldn't figure out how to kill her and I wanted to kill her. Um, and I checked online and apparently the air serpent appears somewhere else. Um, and, uh, well, we're gonna find her somewhere else. So for right now we're gonna go right into the march, right here. It's the middle of the night, terrible things will happen, so hang, in hang on tight and we'll see how things go. The sun is all but gone, soon it will be dark. With each step, your boots sink lower into the mud. I'm gonna cast a spell here. It's gonna be the sun. Uh, wait a minute, did we do this? Oh yeah, I found the howl. I, I, I did, uh, the howl. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, we were here before and then we couldn't go anywhere. So this is what we did before already, and the regions and stuff, and it's gonna be death if we are screwed, and yeah, it will be death. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go, is I'm gonna go over here, try to figure- Oh, I can't go there. Huh. Why? Hmm. This is actually bad. I think I need to go there. Let's go, let's go through here, see what happens. Who knows what will happen. Darkness closes in. You need to rest. The ground is sloshy and thick with mud. A moment later, one of your boots disappears entirely, sinking you to the mud as far as your knee. Um... Cast another spell? I... It's gonna be fine. I think. Um... What can I do? I can cast how? Find safe passage. You move the, the starlight into order around you and a calm voice speaks into your thoughts. Once again, the voice urges you to escape the march. The spell guides your step once again. You keep onwards through muddy water. A few steps further, you come across a bony hand sticking upwards from the mud. It is clutched into a fist. Um, I am open, gonna open the fist. You snap open the finger bones to find a stack of gold pieces. It seems as the creature sank, it held out a bribe in case anyone could, would come by who might be able to help. Unfortunately, you are somehow, somewhat too late. The money will do this creature no good now, so you pocket it. Then it is time to move on. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here because I think this place is gonna have something for us. Because it looks like it, doesn't it? Actually, I thought this place was gonna have something for us, but... It's not gonna happen this time. I don't think so. Uh, or maybe it will. Maybe I need to find my way through here or up or this is madness. I don't know. I don't know. The moon rises, filling the world with thin silver light. The ground is sloggy and thick with mud. A moment later, one of your boots disappears again. Seriously? Cast the spell again and just cast me how. And just go on with it. We are gonna be fine. I promise you. I actually can't promise you because I didn't see ahead, so I can't really say what is gonna happen. You weave the enchantment and a quiet voice begins to speak. The spell continues to feed your fate and all that is good. Okay, so I am bad. Where am I? Can I go there without... Oh, maybe I can... It's like winds or something. The first few stars appear. The ground is sloshy and thick with mud. A moment later, again. So I'm gonna be... I'm gonna need to cast this thing over and over again? That can't be. No. So... Basically, the march are not safe. Oh! <gasps> Consulting the constellations overhead, you bind the spell and a steady voice enters your mind. The spell keeps you safe and you walk onwards. You continue orders through the mud. In the mud here, you see something sticking out of the earth. A skull cap! You pick it up and wipe away the dirt. Then, it is time to move on. Oh, yes, it is time to move on. This look, looks like there's tides or something, because every once in a while... You see that? You see that? Look at that. That's the, that's the present coming in. Look at that. And then... Off it goes, and then it comes in, and I think I might be able to play with it and just go there when it is good, like right now. But we, I don't want to go there. I, I, um, now we did find, no, I did, we didn't find, I did something off camera that you don't know of. Oh, yeah, in my experimentation with the serpent, I cast a fantastic spell, the SSS spell. And I asked a few questions to the serpent, because I found it. We found it, uh, but I asked a few questions. And one of them, or the only one that I really could ask, is um, who could I find to help? Um, and there's apparently somebody up here that she told me. 
that he's a sorceress. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Oh no! Uh, anyway, the land here is firm and rocky, but it's the foothills. I can move on, I think. Suddenly, all around you goes quiet. The night itself seems to still. You hear a distant voice. Let's listen. You, stand qui you stay quiet and strain your ears to listen. Greetings in tones of voice, aged and self-satisfied. I trust the backlands are treating you as kindly as uh, my fair city. It takes a moment to place the voice. It's Lorag, the Wizard of Carey. Well, welcome, join me. You indicate the ground beside you. The voice laughs gently. I can hardly do that, he says. I am but a distant memory inside your mind. You don't think I would let you leave Carey unaided. Uh, but I thank you for your welcome. Your voice seems to drift closer. What are you doing here? What? Are, yeah, what are you doing here? I am here to help, he says, as you help me and my fair city. You have a message I, in a language you do not understand. I may be able to assist. Oh. Okay. Very well. You agree. I would be glad of your aid. In the march, he says, you were given a parchment. Show it to me. You pull out the parchment given to you by the goblins, and you begin to feel a strange sensation, as though someone else was controlling your eyes, moving them backwards and forwards across the words. Okay. You have uh, little choice but to read. Yes, the wizard murmurs. I was right. I was right to come. You feel your finger lift and tap the paper. It is most interesting, he concludes. Indeed, most valuable. Promptly, the voice vanishes. Uh, what, what does it say? You call out, but the, wizard pre the wizard's presence is gone. You are quite alone once more, and none the wiser for it. You continue to walk through the dark. Okay, it is most interesting, indeed, most valuable. Yeah, I kind of knew that, didn't I? Damn it! Come on! Give me something good! Uh, oh boy, I need to go through the march. How am I going to get through the march with this terrible thing? Why did I cast the march? Oh, well, I did get the... Oh, that might be the key. The fact that we got the... Um... Okay. The fact that we got basically the, the parchment might be all we need. Because the parchment cannot be gotten... But I want the, the skull cap! Okay, so we can go... Uh, over here. And find the serpent. But the, the, to find the serpent, we need to... Um, well, basically be in the, in, the, in the present. But to find the serpent, we need to basically destroy our things. That's why I didn't do it. So I'm going to go east from here. Now. Right there. Okay. Ooh. Oh no, this this again. I don't want it. No. Okay. Well, let's uh I'll 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 I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what happens. Uh look at the skies. And uh keep going. I can't cast the spell. If I could, I'm going to try to run and see if Ooh. You start Oh, it destroys things. Doesn't matter. Look up at the sky. We're not going to do this. We're just going to dodge left. As before, and there's a wind, uh, there's a serpent, and I'm gonna cast this spell and show you what happened. Now, this is what we did before, or mostly what, what we did before, and terrible things happened and all that sort of stuff, and I didn't like it. But we're gonna talk to serpents, that's the name of this one. Holding up the serpent ring, you cast the spell. The serpent hisses loudly in response, angry as it feels itself coming under your will. While the spell lasts, you will be able to demand information from the serpent. Foolish adventurer, it cries. Your ring will not protect you from my wrath. Actually, I have a, a thing that will destroy you, but I don't want to do it if it costs me all my items. So, where are the other serpents? The uh, the water serpent swims in Lake Ilklala, the serpent replies unwillingly. But it will wait until you are alone in the waters and helpless to devour you. Um, okay, and then I ask who, about this one. Who can Who can I find to help me? Uh, you ask. The serpent writhes as though skewered on a spike. The sorceress Fenestra hides in the forest of Snata. The serpent replies. She could defeat us if she shows so. The serpent spits. I hope she dies before you find her. Oh, yeah. The air serpent hisses and spits, but this will do you no good. You will never leave this spot. Actually, I will, because you are susceptible to... You, you are, um... What's my note? Yeah, you are susceptible. You are, yeah, your gaze gaseous form is gonna murder you. So I am gonna cast a spell here, the huff, and that create wind, because I have this spell, and that's gonna kill you. You bind the stars into a pattern around you, lifting the gale horn and blowing a note, a loud note. A powerful wind grows, but the air serpent only laughs. I am the wind, it screams. You cannot blow me away like it, like so much dust. Can I not? Well, you'll see. I will try, because I can ca keep casting the spell, I suppose. So let's do that. 
hopefully I can. You craft the spell blessing your gale horn. Oh, it says the same thing again. Okay, so I am less inclined to believe that it's gonna... I know your wind, I thought this could affect the wind. So, let's see, we have um, Nip. No, we have Nif. Oh, nah. Uh, nah, cause the speed, why would I want that? Uh, and we have the Gak, which causes fear. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I wanted. Uh, then we have the Zap, probably. Yeah, I don't, don't want that. It's great lightning. It's not gonna work. But we also have the Zob, which uh, summons a rock demon, which I don't... I can't. Uh, did I find that teeth? Uh, and then we have the Foff, Feel the Force. That could work against it more than actually killing it. And we have the... S what's the N? Or the S? We have the Sap, causes depression, and we have the Sus. Oh, wait a minute, I, I can't cast the spell. I need to use an item, but I don't have an item. Look for its body? Knowing the serpent's weakness, you look around for its corporeal form. You can see nothing against the whir whirling dust. Foolish creature, bellows the snake. You look for my body, but do you think I have left it here for you to find? The wind blows dust and rubble past you. Something like a large dry leaf blows across the ground. Grab the leaf. You make a gar uh, make a grab for the leaf and catch it in both hands. Not a leaf. Snake skin. You hear the air serpent gasp a, lo a sound like all the wind of a hurricane pulling themselves into a bottle. Suddenly the cloud collapses almost in instantaneously. And I'm gonna tear the skin apart. As fast as you can, you tear the frail skin in two. It is easy, like tearing dry paper, and then nothing more happens. All is silent. It seems you caught the air serpent just as it was returning to physical form. And now, it is simply gone. Everywhere is suddenly very quiet. Your progress so far is excellent. You feel fit and well, and you are, a uh, are firmly on your way to getting read the, uh, the backlands of, uh, to reading the backlands of serpents. Yes, I know that is there, I know. But uh, we didn't get any clues, so this that's the reason why I don't want to do this, is because it's really bad. It's really bad. Now, I think... Oh, we can pray for hate. Uh, yeah, it's really bad to lose all things. I think... No, I don't want that. I want to... Uh, I want the other one. I want to... Uh, basically, I wanted to show you the, uh, the tip. No, 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 don't do this. This one. No, damn it. I need to wait until the, the winds of time... Let, let me go back. Let me go back. Seriously. The winds of time need... Yeah, th this is how it works. I maybe could have used this before. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. No, that's not the one. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Sometimes it's so... There it is. No, damn it. I don't want to go back there and talk to the old guy. That's the one. Ah, come on. That one, right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, find shelter uh, around the suitable. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to just go for cover as soon as possible. There it is. Uh, you pelt the rocky overhang and squeeze inside. I'm gonna grab onto my belongings and take damage. You grab onto your belongings, keep your pack underneath you as the wind rises. Stones begin to fly. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's all fine. Um, yeah. And we're just gonna stand and we are gonna look down, see the thing that we saw before, follow the scratches. And, uh, could I leave this place? I want to see the scratches. We're going to spend all night up. That's not good. Look further left. And then step around the carving. It's the air and move on. There it is. Okay, so now my idea is to not be in this place as much as we have been. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm, I, I, I might need to go back there to activate this because the swamps are terrible. The swamps are awful. I want to stay in the past or the present. Damn it. I was mixed them up. So all I need is for a gust of wind to come back. That one. That one seems good. No! It's too powerful. The 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 gaze of the beacon is too powerful. Oh, well, can I rest here or something? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's keep going north. The priest's pole. Day 9. You gain considerable gold, plus 11. Uh, entered the Vishlami Marsh and found no new clues. The steps seem to flood underfoot, creating a march. In the distance, the sun breaks over the horizon. You have been awake all night and are weaker for it. The ground is sloshy and thick. Okay, I am uh, gonna keep m going. You push forward one step sink. Oh boy. Oh boy. One step sinks to the thigh. To your thigh. The next to, the next to your money belt, you take another step sinking. 
Why? You struggle and fight your way to the surface, but with every kick... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The mud is sucking up the... Let's not do this. Let's try that again. The priest's pole. Ooh, the, the priest's pole. This is where it was before. Hmm. Okay. Let's cast the spell again, because I can. I know the how is going to help me through this. Uh, and that's the easiest one. If I can cast it, of course. And I, yeah, I can. There it is. And that's all. I don't lose the money. I don't lose my boots. Everything is good. We keep through the muddy water. Now, have we been there? That's the problem right there. I think... Uh, yeah, I have. Okay. So, I don't need to go there. I need to go north. As soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, there it is. And we're back, back in the present. You wade on through the marsh, which changes to former earth beneath your feet. Trees go grow up around you, and suddenly you find yourself in the forest once more. The air moves a little, still icy, but fresh. There is no path here, only dense forest. Yeah, that's actually a, a bad thing. That's a really bad thing. Oh man, we found so many things, and we found the skull cap. We found the skull cap over here. Where did we find? Because I I might want to go back and just oh, from over there, go back go back. The skull cap is gonna help us, but not that much. I want to go back and I want to change that beacon because that beacon is hideous and terrible and, and deadly and and bad. So I I I really really want to change that beacon because that thing just murders murders us and it's terrible. So what I'll do. What I'll do, and because I know the skull cap is right there. Uh, right? No, no. Where, where's the skull cap? So I went up there, and then I went down. The principal. I, I was at the principal before. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's. Is that where? Let's see. I'm gonna re rewind because this is. Yeah, this is where. Yeah, it's the principal. The principal is where I need to go. Oh, that's bad because I wanted to go. Okay. Uh, let's try it again. I don't remember where the skull cap is. I thought it was to the south. But apparently I'm wrong or something happened. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was over there. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. No, it's not. I'm gonna cast it again or something. I, I, I want the skull cap, but I will give it, give it up. I will give it up. Um, for curiosity's sake and, and for... For everything. Oh, there it is. There's the skull cap. Take it. Okay, so this is where, what I need. I think I can go there if I aim. I think I can go there. So that's the priest's pole. I think I... Yeah, that's that's where I need to go. So what I'll do... What I'll do is I'll go back to the beacon over here. Over there. Oh, game. Did we sleep over here or something? Because look at the... Whatever. Okay, so we're going to be over here... Uh. Oh, this is the beginning of last episode. But we found so many things ever, ever since then. Okay, let's uh, just cast. I don't think I need to, to cast afar, but I'm going to cast because that's what I did. Let's just do that and get that uh, dialogue again. Right there. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what that is for. Just, I have really absolutely no idea. And then I cast the dog and drink the potion. That shall take care of my uh, current situation, even though I did waste the potion, but now I know how this works. Uh, and right there, and I'm gonna drink the potion. Perfect. And, uh, oh, that maybe we slept here. That might have been the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna activate the beacon, and that heals me up. Or something. Or something. Okay, so this is the crucial point of it all. This is where it all comes into play. So up there, I have no idea what is gonna happen. That beacon, that thing might require me to be like this. Hopefully it doesn't, because if it does, I'm gonna need to come back down here. But the plan is to see, so... How does this go? To see the pole right there. And then I aim it as low as possible so I can see the pole, like so. Aim, no, aim it down, and a, aim it down, aim it down, okay. Aim it, ah, damn it. Okay, so this will be enough. This right here will. See, th there's the winds, th it's just so weird. And I can't control this with the arrow, so it's really tricky to control. Yeah, that's the wind, that's the wind. It, it's just, it's just special. You're gonna have to bear with me there. Okay, so yeah, that heals me up. I might not, need, might not have needed that, but um, 
Touch the, blo the blue crystal. That's going to take me somewhere. I don't really need that. But thank you very much. I think that is the priest's pull. I think I was right there. I think so. But anyway. What? Yeah, you plummet to the sky. Look at the view. See what we did before. Uh, climb down. And we're good. So I don't know if it, that took too much time or if I rested up there or something. But we're going to go back to where we go went. But this time around, I'm not going through the terrible place that is the marsh. Because the marshes are really bad. Set across the land, evening drawn. Okay, okay, so we're back over there. I want to go here. Get the same thing we did before. And I want to go to the well as well. The well as well. Uh, no, 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 no. The steps seem to flood underfoot. You continue to march. Call to turn to slop until you... What? A few fingers dip? What do you mean? Huh. The steps seem to flood underfoot, creating a marsh. Clouds rumble as they roll across the inky sky. It will be dark soon. The ground underfoot turns to sl slop until you are sinking a few fingers deep with every step. A thick smell of rot and decay fills the air. The marsh is endless, bleak and gray, filling the valley between... Oh, yeah, we did this before, didn't we? Yeah, we tested this with a... Yeah, okay, so... Uh, keep walking. Yeah, so this is... Oh, no. Wasn't this where we found... Oh, no. This is where we... Damn it. Well, let's satiate my curiosity and go down here to the well, because I'm going to need to re re readjust that beacon again. Darkness closes in. You, resume, you need to rest. You stumble upon a low, round structure. It's the mouth of a well. Look into the well. You glance down the well. It disappears into darkness. The air inside, is, uh, inside its mouth is cold. Let's climb into the well. You consider climbing down into the well for a moment, but it seems bleak and uninviting. Let's toss a, a stone. You toss a stone into the well. It falls for a few seconds, and then you hear a splash. You can stand by the well side. You hear a scraping noise from within. And after, and after a few minutes, two curved claws emerge through the opening, hooking onto either side of, of the well mouth. Something is pulling itself up. Uh, I'm gonna stand back. You stand back as a figure pulls themselves up out of the well. The two hooks are attached to ropes, which the creature winds up and hangs over the shoulder. Only then do they notice you, though they do not seem to be startled. Greetings, you declare. The creature doffs its hat, rubbing an, a bruise on its head as it hands you back the stone you threw down the well. Oh, thank you. Uh, then without a furtive word, it turns and disappears across the march. You stride out through the dark. What?! What kind of creature was that? Okay, I think I need to be uh, at night time over here. I think that's what it needs. And then here... Uh, sleep, sleeping out here would be ill-advised. Yes, I, I realize that. But I can't really do... Damn it. I'm stuck. And then that's where I need to be. It's a good place to start. I need to go there. I'm not going to read right now. I, I, I want to make sure that I can't go over here. And I can, can't I? You're, you're, you march onwards, the ground dropping a little. This is now the dead of night. In the darkness, you all but walk into a large pole that is stuck in the ground here. Okay, so I'm going to rest here. You settle down with your back uh, to the pole. It is hardly a comf comfortable place. You are unsheltered and exposed on all sides, but it is late. And if you walk all night, you risk over exhausting yourself. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes and see what happens. You stretch out and rest. You dream you are trapped in a low straw hut, its door sealed with bolts made of bones. A small fire is burning in, the, in one corner, but quickly spreads until you are surrounded by flame. You feel yourself starting to sweat from the heat. And you wake up to find a ball of fire ranging mere inches from you. What? Let's look at it. Hi. Hello, friend. The fire does not seem to be fueled. It is a ball about three feet wide, gushing with smoke and steam. A moment later, it unravels, uncurling it into a long animal form. It's a fire fox, and it is coming for your neck with a blaze of fur and fire. Oh, boy. <sighs> Look at that. It's a fire fox. Well, at least we found something interesting. You draw your sword and ready to f you're f ready f to fight. 
Firefox faces, Firefox faces the earth before you, sparks of fire flashing across its fur. Driven by, by fear, you charge headlong. It rushes you, balling up and igniting as it flies through the air, only to skewer itself on your blade. It twists and rides, it limps back, bleeding heavily. Dark blue flames gutter between clumps of ragged fur. The monster crouches down and snarls. It's gonna go for a small attack right there. Um, also, a Firefox is a real animal, by the way. It's a red panda. That's what it is. It's just a nickname for a red panda. You bring your sword, uh, except this is of course the mythical firefox. You bring your sword about the wild bo bl uh, for a wild blow. The blow catches the firefox as it dodges back. As the firefox grows weaker, its eyes grow redder, but its fur begins to turn ash gray. The firefox eyes flash a deep ro uh, hot red. And I got by the skin of my teeth right there. You turn your blade around for a vicious attack, but the s and the strike catches the beast deep. The firefox collapses, and then a moment later ignites with a powerful flare. A pyre burns for a, f a short instant, and when it fades, the creature is tight skin around bones with no flesh left. You collapse back, exhausted and scorched from the encounter. With luck, the rest of the night will be more peaceful. Let's search the creature, though. The creature has no possessions, of course, but it has a fine array of teeth, including four front fangs that seem to glow with a faint heat. With the tip of your sword, you dig out the first, the first of the creature's fang, but as you tug it free, the tooth cracks and suddenly erupts into flame. You drop it smartly, and the fire burns a moment longer before going out. Let's re remove the other ones. Working more carefully this time, you manage to extract two more fangs without incident. The third is hard of work, but you cut and tug carefully and manage to extract it success successfully. You wrap the teeth in cloth and put them into your pack. They will come in useful should you need to light a fire. Then tiredness overwhelms you. Time to rest. You gained a bunch of money and a bunch of stamina, actually, and a bunch of a little bit of money, and entered the Vishlami March and found no new clues. Unfortunately, you get to your feet in the daylight. You can see the pole is made of wood and has clearly been cut from a pine or some other straight tree, and then sent into sent it to a smooth surface. It has no knots, handles, or holds of any kind. Nothing except a level platform right at the top. Clumps of curious bright yellow moss grow around the base of the pole. Okay, um, let's look around first. Can I go up there? I don't know. You stop and look around, but can't make much out across the contours of the plane. You might be able to see more from the top of the pole, of course. From somewhere nearby, you hear singing. Oh boy, the adventure just keeps getting more and more complicated. Now, of course, I didn't find that one right there, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need um, whatever these guys have. For the serpent, I don't know what kind of what serp the serpent was that was pursuing the march goblins, but I'm gonna need to do that. I'm gonna try and uh, align things a little bit better, trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, and uh, well, we'll see each other on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sorcery. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.